Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about how to store your coins and I'm going to show you how we store our coins and how to store yours. So stay tuned. <laughs> So thanks for watching my latest video and don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell beside the subscribe button. And today I want to talk about storing your coins and there's albums that you can get, Whitman, Littleton, Dansko, all these albums. Here is an example of a Whitman album and then you have the Littleton albums which are in the green and then you have the Dansko albums which were in the brown. Now, one thing about these albums here is that they have what's called slides, and most, most of you have seen these. And one thing about the slides, they come in and out, and, and you've got to be careful, because it can cause marks on a coin if you're not careful. At least that's commonly believed, that plastic is kind of soft, so it's, you're really going to have to jam it to really put a mark on a coin in my opinion. But one thing about these albums, if, you've, if you're putting Mint State coins or AU58 and up coins in these albums, the cardboard can tone the coins. If the coins are exposed to a little bit of humidity, you do see a lot of tone Mint State coins in these albums. And that's one thing to be concerned about um, when you're using these. If you put in coins that are already cleaned, they can retone in these albums. It's called album toning. Um, I've not seen coins that are already circulated. Let's say coins from AG up to low extra fine or very fine 35. I've not seen them tone in these albums. So if it was me and I was going to put coins in albums like this, you want to use these in an environment that is free of humidity, uh, free of smoke. Uh, you want to put them in a safe and I'll show you some th ways to help wick away humidity uh, later on here in the video. And you know, there's other ways also and what they have what they call folders um, here's some uh, newer folders uh, for the 50 state quarters they make them for every type of coin one thing about these is that the newer ones are a little bit better about it but not they will also tone coins that's what they call album toning the cardboard has some chemicals in it but sometimes the coins will pop out of here or they're hard to get in into the album and so you've got to you press on them if you press on them I would recommend pressing on them maybe with a pair of gloves or pressing on with your shirt or put a pair of rubber gloves on. Okay. One of the things about uh, cotton gloves is cotton gloves will actually retain oils from your skin or also gather dirt, dust and other things. And that's very important to me not to use gloves because the grading services do not and dealers do not at coin shows when they handle coins. You just need to handle the coins carefully by the rim. Another thing that's very important what people don't realize. You don't breathe on your coins and you don't sneeze or cough or clear your throat when you're handling your coins. You know, sneezing, I mean, you're talking about within 30 feet, you can actually, it can get on your coins. You, you may think you covered your mouth or whatever, but I'm telling you, I've seen it too many times. People see spots on their coins after they took them out of a proof set and think that because they handled them with their fingers or didn't use gloves, that's not the case. Your breath is actually more dangerous on coins. It's no different than having tap water on your coins with chlorine in it or with fluoride in it and that can happen I've seen it you know something else that people don't usually consider nicotine can also cause a coin to tone it can cause damage on a coin basically you don't want to have nicotine on your fingers you don't want to have um, the coins sometimes can get the tar and all from the smoke that's in the air as well that settle on the coins if they're laid out so that's something you want to consider as well uh, if you chew tobacco that's another thing you're having on your fingers so you want to be mindful of what you're handling and whether your hands are clean and what you're using when you are handling your coins before you put them into storage. Because once you get them back out of storage, you'll look at them and you'll think, what in the world happened? What did I do? And it happened before they were even put in the holders. So getting back to these albums, and I'm not saying these albums themselves will actually tone your coin in and of themselves. It might have to do with some how they're stored, but I have seen plenty of it. You know, so I'm not... I want to sit here and say if you store it properly because there are things that you can put in your safes like silica packs um, you can buy them online from JP's Corners uh, buy them off eBay Amazon whatever your vendor of choice is but you can buy silica packs and you can also buy dehumidifiers okay and I would recommend that no matter what storage you choose 
to do that, if you have a home that maybe is in south or you have a lot of humidity in the summertime or you've got your coins in a room where there's humidity, I recommend doing that because I don't think there's any way you're going to stop your coins from toning at that point. I don't care if they're in a proof set at that, that they're still probably going to end up toning on you. So that's one of the things that I see a lot. You know, you've got capital holders here. And, and these capital holders don't tone coins, okay? But coins in them can tone. It, coins can also tone uh, from even being in holders, certain holders. Uh, you know, PCI, actually, their older holders will tone coins. It's called PCI toning. They're not airtight, okay? And also, whenever they were sealed, sonically sealed, they actually trapped air inside of them. So that can also have an effect on them. Then were they handled improperly before they were put in a holder? There's so many things to think about. And you know, there's other things that to consider. I mean, if you do year sets, you can use these. I don't have any trouble with these, but you know, like I said, when it comes to any of these uh, types of holders, like the snap tights, you know, you want to make sure that you're keeping your coins in, you know, uh, even temperature environment. And also, some people like them without the insert. Basically, like this one here has the insert. Sometimes this foam. Uh, can cause a reaction with your coin metal. So I don't use foam. I don't use foam inserts on the coins. They look nice. They kind of put a little border on them and all that and it looks pr pretty good. But I actually recommend something like this. Uh, this is, not, and then they call them air tights, but they're not really airtight. But they're, they are, they get pretty tight and they're hard to open up. But I like, we keep our silver eagles in these and also some Morgan dollars and things. And they make them for all different sizes. And I definitely, think this is a good way to store coins uh, that you really love. Also, for those, you can actually buy the tubes for those. And you can put your coin down inside with your, and have you can kind of stack them that way too. It's kind of a neat little storage thing. You know, but all in all, when you are storing your coins, you just got to keep them in a nice, even temperature environment, uh, away from humidity, away from any type of uh, impurities and things that can get on the coins if you don't want them to tone up at all. And we use Tupa 2s here at the shop. Uh, one thing about them is that they have a Mylar window that's really thin and we have very little problem with coins toning in those. Even with cardboard. I do try to remove any of the little bit because you have little pieces of cardboard on the window so I always try to remove those. Maybe brush it off a little bit and when I put them in the, I don't like the staples very well, but we're very careful. I break the window, not, I don't mess with the staples. Once the two by two is stapled, what I do is, is I break the window if I want to get the coin out. Because you start opening it up and scrape the coin on a staple and you've ruined it. And that's one thing you don't want to do. We also, when you do store these, store them in boxes. You know, kind of my favorite way, if I had, you know, one of those little, you know, red boxes that you see at the coin shows, and I had a complete collection, I could stick them in there and put them through that. And I would feel comfortable that the coins wouldn't tone up on me or be in bad shape when I was ready to remove them or to show them off or sell them. You know, another thing is flips. Always use non-plasticized uh, safety flips, which, you know, mylar, whatever it is, they're a little stiffer. Don't use vinyl. Never use vinyl sheets. Don't use vinyl flips on coins. PVC is an issue. When you start seeing green on your coins, more than likely that's PVC that can damage your coin. It needs to be removed from your coin. So use non-plasticized flips. You know, so to kind of go back over things, you know, you've got albums that you can store coins in. You've got flips you can store coins in. You've got two by twos you can store coins in. And I've used a little bit of uh, all of it. I can't say what brand's better than the other brand because they're all pretty close to the same quality folder wise. Uh, the two by two wise, you know, you can get, you can get a pack of these $3.50, a pack of a hundred of them, you know, so it's kind of economical and you can probably buy one of those red boxes for, you know, a few bucks. You can probably get one off a deal or you can ask him, say, you got a free extra box. You got one extra. I'm buying some coins off of you. You got one you can give me, you know, things like that. A lot of times uh, you can buy these aftermarket cheaper. Uh, I honestly, as far as value is concerned, um, you know, little ones are pretty economical uh, when you go buy them, but you, you can do some shopping. Some people will sell lots of these and you can buy them. You know, they tend to be kind of expensive and are brand new, but I'm not saying not to buy them brand new. Maybe that's the way you like to buy things. Uh, you don't want an album that's already been handled and has marks in it or whatever, you know, but anyways, I hope this 
helped you with as far as storing your coins and maybe some ideas on how you can store your coins. Um, you know, like I said, you don't want to keep them away from your moisture. Moisture is a very bad thing for coins, okay? And you don't want moisture on the coins. You want to make sure they're dry. You want to make sure they stay dry and actually stored in an area that doesn't have a lot of humidity. And I think you'll be safe with whatever method you use to store coins with, just as long as you abide by that. And, you know, like I said, I store coins a lot and we have them in different areas and we don't seem, that, seem to have a problem with the way we do things here at the coin shop. So thanks for watching my latest video and please like, share and comment and have a great day.